All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you two tricks um, in the GBA, Game Boy Advance SP. I'm pretty sure this will also work in an original Game Boy 2, Game Boy Advance. So basically, in both of these tricks, you need to have a Game Boy Advance game in the slot. It will not work with an original, it will not work with no cartridge or an original Game Boy game in the slot. Then you need to have a Nintendo Advance cartridge in there for it to work. So we're going to be using Super Mario World Super Mario Advance 2 to show these tricks off. And there's two of them. So the first one is actually on the startup screen. Again, you need to have a cartridge in there. So you just turn on the console and then you press hold the start and select button down at the same time. So we're going to do that here. And as you can see, what it will do is it will play a sound, the Nintendo logo will disappear, and it will not load up your game. And what the, this was actually meant to do is to use the Game Boy Advance as a controller for the GameCube. And, yeah. So, that's kind of a neat way to do it. And if you press A, Nintendo logo will come back up, play a sound, and it will load up your GBA game. And there's another trick where this involves pressing the select start and A and B, which just is you can this only works in the game. So if we press it, it'll actually reset the, the game. So you don't have to turn off the console and turn it back on again. Say if the system crashes, you can just do that and we'll reset the game for you. So yeah, that's a cool a few cool tricks that I know that you can use on the GBA, even though the console is literally like I don't know, literally like 22 years old, 21, 20, 2002 Nintendo, that's just a cool trick if you didn't know, if you're playing your GBA and you want to see something cool then there you go.